Hi, my name is Jackie Shabbat. Um, I am the co-owner of In the Meadow Farm here in Lunenburg um, with my husband Gerard. Uh, we, we have been here for um, seven years farming for six. Um, we have a, we have 12 alpacas. Um, that is our main um, focus here on the farm. And um, we have a few chickens that uh, are here for eggs and pleasure. On April 24th, we had a Earth Day festival here on the farm um, as a way of providing a fundraising opportunity for Project Bread's Walk for Hunger. Um, we had uh, 12 vendors here in addition to us um, offering a wide variety of local um, crafted products. Um, the part of the fundraiser, part of the event was to raise money for Project Bread's Walk, of, Walk for Hunger, um, and some of those activities included um, an alpaca photo booth where people could, um, for a donation, um, get into the pen with the alpacas, have an opportunity to get up close and personal, um, and to take as many photographs as they wanted. Um, another uh, activity we had was um, a crafting activity where kids and adults alike could, for a fee and a donation, um, either make a pine cone um, bird feeder or a pine cone nesting um, cone where they took some of the alpaca fiber and placed it into the, the pine cone um, so that they could hang it at home and the birds could use it for nesting materials. Um, and then we had a raffle where all of our vendors com, um, contributed something to put in the basket and we sold raffle tickets. Um, and for that event we raised uh, 17, over $1,700. So we had a team umbrella called Send Hunger Alpacan. Um, it was our uh, Walk for Hunger team. Um, and through that team uh, effort, um, we raised, our final tally so far has been uh, $2,600. So we've raised $2,600 um, through the events at the farm here and through individual donations to the, to the team page um, and some individual fundraising efforts by um, my daughter, who is part of the team, Jessica Glinsky. On May 2nd, we had our second fundraising event, which was uh, Walk in the Fields for Hunger. Um, for a $5 donation per person, you could um, enter the field um, with the alpacas, and uh, you could choose to walk the five laps um, around our fields, which um, equated to about a mile. Or you could just hang out with the alpacas. Um, and again, it was another opportunity for people to get up close and personal with the alpacas and to uh, learn a little bit more about them. Um, they're cute and fuzzy, and people love to hang out with them. So, And for that event, we raised $750. Project Bread is an organization um, that services uh, the state of Massachusetts and surrounding areas. Um, and their mission is to provide um, food and, and food services to those who are experiencing food insecurity, um, especially important now during the pandemic when so many people are out of work and who are struggling. Um, and so they provide much needed food services for those people. If you still want to donate to our, our team, um, you can do that by visiting uh, projectbread.org um, and then looking for our team. Um, send hunger alpacan. My name is Joe Rivers. I went to Lunenburg High School, class of 2020. Uh, I was on the football team and indoor and outdoor track and field teams. So at LHS, um, I did pretty well in football. Um, and in track and field, I had um, two uh, records at the school, one for indoor shot put and one for outdoor shot put. Uh, my best throw was 59 feet, six and a half inches. Uh, one thing that I definitely remember from high school football was um, a fumble return for a touchdown against Holy Name. Uh, it was 96 yards, I believe. Um, and the quarterback, actually, I, he goes to the same school as me. He plays football with me. So 
I, I love to jab jab at him about that sometimes, but it's pretty. It was a pretty fun memory. So I was invited to nationals, the New Balance Nationals in New York, um, for my senior year in indoor. Unfortunately, it was canceled due to COVID nineteen. Um, but I was seated fourteenth, and I was supposed to compete um, sometime in March before everything closed. So I go to Bentley University in Waltham, Massachusetts. I'm most likely going to pursue a marketing major uh, and potentially minor in management. And I also play football, of course. Yeah, so I also um, made the dean's list both semesters. And I was nominated to be part of the National Society for Leadership and Success. So there was an initiative to start a black student athlete organization on campus. Uh, so initially, I was invited to partake in that. And then that group um, had several individuals invited to participate in the Black Student Athlete Summit held by um, University of Texas, I believe. Um, but of course, it was over Zoom uh, due to COVID-19. But that was, a, that was a fun experience, for sure. My name is Michelle Beliza and I'm the executive director here at the Boys and Girls Club of Lunenburg. Uh, hi, I'm Brent, the program director for the club. And last summer in the middle of the pandemic, I came in to check the mail and the voicemail and there was a, a note on the door, an envelope with a handmade card from a young lady named Katie. She My name is Katie and what I did for the club was I went around to families and friends and I collected cans and bottles and returned them for money and gave it to the Boys and Girls Club. And I was so moved by that, that I reached out to her and her parents and asked if we could make it a community-wide challenge. And it became Katie's 20 days of raising money for the club. And altogether, Katie raised over $2,000 for our club. You know, that was super inspiring. And I think it led toward other people wanting to do, you know, similar things. And Tegan stepped up. My name's Tegan Sullivan. And for my birthday, I decided to donate money to the club. And after friends and family decided to do the same. Uh, it was so inspiring that we decided, you know, let's spur on this effort. So we started Tegan's Challenge. Sorry, Tegan's Challenge has raised uh, just over $11,000 just on birthdays uh, on Facebook. Um, and it's really neat that these kids have inspired so many people, inspired us yeah. to really uh, to, do, to do for your community, to do for the Boys and Girls Club. We didn't get a lot of, in fact, we didn't get any pandemic funding in the beginning. And we had to make a really tough choice to close on May 1st. So that's, I think, what spurred these kids to try to make a difference in their club. So what inspired me to do the 20 days of giving was the Boys and Girls Club wasn't open at the time because of the pandemic. So I thought that if I gave them enough money that it would help them open up. And Katie did inspire me too, um, <laughs> to think about how the club was kind of going through a hard time with it shutting down, not letting the kids come. and. I decided to like you know donate because, like she said, it would help them open back up again. Um, Pre-pandemic situations, we were serving anywhere from 175 to 200 youth every year. Uh, our impact was large. Um, during this time, it, you know, it's it's cut down some, but um, but looking at uh, how important the club is to everybody, uh, Boys and Girls of America did a, a survey some time ago, where 54% of all reporting members said that the club saved their life. And I can say right here, uh, I agree with that stat because it saved my life as well. Um, we're starting to see with alumni, you know, the impact that we have. We're starting to hear from them, um, how being in the club changed their life, helped them make better choices, helped them learn to be a leader, helped them stand up for themselves and others. Um, the young lady filming this right now came to the club 100 years ago and, you know, she still has an incredibly soft spot in her heart for this place. and. Um, what it did for her and you know, we're just so fortunate to be a part of this and To survive this pandemic so we can keep doing it for 15 years 150 years however long we can I Love the club because it's a place that you can go after hard days of school 
and it, you can relax and play with your friends and just have a fun time. I like going to the club and this was important to me because after school it gives kids more freedom to come and do more things without having like a parent watching them or having to have a parent walk with them. Like they can walk from school by themselves. Uh, the club is, is everything. Uh, I guess to start very recently, the pandemic, when we shut down, I realized without the club, I was kind of lost as well. And I realized the kids were too. People talk about second homes. It was more like tied for first home. I think the one thing I'm really good at here is being the club mom and getting to know the kids and building those relationships and sustaining them over years and years and years. You know, a lot of these kids say, it's because you listened to me. It's because you encouraged me to run for student council. It's because you told me not to listen to that kid that was picking on me incessantly that I got through these things. Um, and I'm so fortunate that I've been a part of this and I would never give it up for anything. Like, I joke every year this is my last year, but I'm not going anywhere because I love what I do. I love the kids I work with. I love the families who support the work that we do. I love the community who rallies around us for support. And um, I think I have the best job in town. Yeah. Hashtag best job ever. Hashtag. Uh, Katie is really excited. She's going to do her 20 days of giving again this summer with collecting cans and bottles. And, you know, she did 2,000 last year. Easily she'll hit that again this year, so that's awesome. Yeah, uh, with Tegan's Challenge, that's ongoing. Uh, the easiest fundraiser you will ever take part in. Matter of fact, there's not even a dollar comes out of your own pocket. Uh, we have an online form that you fill out. And it's a Google form. Very quick. And all it does is help, help us remind you, closer to your birthday, that you committed to the, the birthday fundraiser. You set it up on Facebook. If you need a hand, we can help you out. Um, and then you share it with your friends. Um, throughout this time, with that 11,000 plus, we've had so many, so many people reach out. Really cool, where one person can do so much good by the fact that their friends see how passionate they are about it. Uh, right now, I think we have 30 people or so committed. Uh, I would love to double that, so if you want to take part, Give me a call. And we always take online donations. Our website has an easy link. You just click it um, and you can give. You can give once or you can give monthly. You can become um, a BGCL rock star. That stands for reaching our club kids, right? We're supporting them for years. So monthly donors really sustain the work that we do. And it's because of people in the community that make this possible. So um, if you want to donate or get involved, please, please reach out to us. We would love to work with you.